That wasn't a typo. You read that right. Today, we're going to be talking about NoNoWriMo. It's November, which means everybody's talking about the upcoming holiday season and NaNoWriMo. But what if you don't write novels? Then you're just stuck with bad football games and way too many family visits in a short period of time, right? Wrong. You can still take part in the positive aspects of NaNoWriMo without having to write a novel. That's why I came up with the concept of NoNoWriMo. First, for those who don't know, NaNoWriMo stands for National Novel Writing Month. It's a 30-day challenge where participants attempt to write a 50,000-word first draft of a novel during the month of November. It's extremely popular and extremely effective, helping many authors, including yours truly, to knock out that first draft in a much shorter time than I would have done on my own. But again, what if you don't write novels? Well, some groups have come up with the term Lovember, where you create a certain number of low content or no content books during that same 30 day period of the month of November. But what if you don't write novels and you don't publish no content or low content books? Then what do you have? I wanted something that was gonna be even more inclusive. That's when I came up with the idea of no no rhymo, non novel writing month. Non novel writing month is for those of us that want a similar challenge but don't write novels. So whether you publish low content or no content books, write children's books, short stories, poems, it doesn't matter. No no rhymo is for you. Look, back in 2018, I participated in my very first NaNoWriMo. It helped me write that first draft of my very first young adult novel in less than 30 days. In fact, I ended up writing 55,000 words in like 22 days. It was amazing. Now, I'll be honest, those words that I wrote were hot garbage, but again, they were written. So why did NaNoWriMo work? Well, for me, there were three key elements that I loved about NaNo and that I truly believed can help even if you don't write novels. Number one, there's a set goal. Now I've talked about goal setting quite a bit on this channel because I truly believe that you have a much better chance of reaching your destination if you have a goal in mind. Without goals, how can you measure your successes? And how do you course correct when you fall short if you don't know you fell short because you didn't have a goal? In NaNoWriMo, the goal is 50,000 words. But for no no rhymo for you, it could be write X number of children's books or X number of poems or short stories or create a certain number of low content or no content interiors, whatever. Set yourself a goal that's achievable, but only if you put the work in. Which leads me right into the second benefit, which is NaNoWriMo promotes consistent daily work. Basically, butt in chair. Sit down and get it done. All the excuses in the world aren't going to get those words written. The only thing that will is your butt in the chair, sitting down and start writing or start creating if you're doing low content or no content interiors. It doesn't matter what your goal is. If you don't make a habit of working consistently at it, it'll be much harder to attain. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't take weekends or days off. Just make sure that those days are as scheduled as possible so it doesn't double your work the next day. Like when I was doing NaNoWriMo, I took the weekends off, which meant I had to write more words during the week but I still had those days off. The third and most important benefit of NaNoWriMo that helped me achieve my goal of 50,000 words in 30 day window was accountability. Tracking the word count and sharing it with others not only helped me stay on track and hold me accountable, but also facilitated this open dialogue between me and those reading my updates. To be honest, it was that open dialogue that provided the positive feedback and encouragement that I needed especially on those days later in the month when I just didn't want to write. I had a rough day at work. I had family over for Thanksgiving and my birthday. It didn't matter. I still made time to write because I knew I had to provide an update and I didn't want to let those people down. Also, their words of encouragement helped me stay on track and drove me to write one more paragraph, one more page, and sometimes even one more chapter before I logged off for the day. So if you don't write novels, I challenge you to participate in No No Rhyme Off. Set yourself a goal for what you're going to accomplish in the month of November. Next, share that goal not only here in the comments below, but also on the Facebook group Self Publishing Today. Make sure you answer all three questions so that way you get accepted into the group. Then sit down and set yourself up a schedule for when you're going to be working on this. Are you going to do a little every day? Maybe you'll take weekends off. What about the holidays? Whatever works for you. Just plan that all out now so that way you can better assess what you need to do each session that you sit down and start working on your goal. Then, and this is most important, I want to make sure to encourage you to go every day and post an update in the group and even here on the channel or both if you want 
on what you've accomplished that day towards your goal. One interior, one book written, one word written, I don't care. Just share it and we can help hold each other accountable and encourage one another. And if you're participating in NaNoWriMo, you're more than welcome to share your goals and updates with us as well. The whole point of this is it's all inclusive. Everyone can participate, regardless of what you write or create. Now, remember before when I talked about writing my first young adult novel during NaNoWriMo? Well, after about a year's worth of revisions, editing, and procrastination, I finally got that novel published. And in this video right here, I do a live unboxing of the novel. Now this was back when KDP print had just come out. So you definitely don't want to miss that video. Now, if you've already seen that YouTube says that this video right here is perfect for you. I'll catch you in one of these videos and remember to write, right.